artists and musicians of the North Country need to be showcased, which is why WPBS Weekly saved this time slot to do just that. This week, as part of a special series funded by Brasher Falls doctor Susan Bodenhausen's legacy, we introduce you to Ja Morrow, an Ogdensburg artist whose creative style weaves nature, man, and time as an underlying theme. Internationally, his work has been on the cover of Reader's Digest. Regionally, he and his wife own the Clark Art Gallery in Ogdensburg. Here's more on John Morrow and his incredible works of art. My name is John Morrow. I'm a North Country artist. I've been painting here for the last 50 years. I started at a very young age um, being interested in art as far back as I can remember. My grandmother and father liked to paint by number. So they always had leftover paint afterwards, and I would take that paint and compose my own compositions using those colors. And I was probably seven or eight years old at that time. I just loved to draw, and it just grew over the years. And, and I took art in high school, and then in college, and then I became an art teacher. I had a philosophy that uh, our goal in life is to learn and our duty is to teach. And so I've always wanted to give back to society and to students um, the knowledge that I've learned. So that sort of led me into teaching. I actually work in three mediums. I work in watercolor, acrylic, and oil. And each one of them has a particular quality that I prefer. And depending on the subject, um, depends on which one I would pick. I find that the North Country is, is very rich in a lot of subject matter. And I painted the valley, I painted the river, I painted the Amish, the old farmhouses. And I've also gone into Maine and painted some of the scenes from there. And I like to travel, I've done scenes from out west. But I guess it's just a matter of uh, finding something that emotionally moves you and trying to share it. Last year, someone brought me a print to have framed, and the artist was from the 1800s, and it was a uh, winter landscape, and I really liked the feel of the painting and the composition, so I decided to develop something similar to that piece. So what I did was I first did a sketch, a color sketch, and worked out some of the elements of the composition. I then proceeded to a larger sketch, which is this one here, working out the color. And this is the beginning of the painting with uh, some of the elements in it. But I decided that uh, I would probably put a birch tree on this side here and change the banks a little bit. And the original painting did not have a waterfall here but I'm not satisfied with this waterfall yet, but I will, I will keep working on this until I get it the way I want it. So basically it's gonna have the same feeling as the painting that I originally saw, but with my own sort of interpretation. When I pick my subjects, um, they sort of pick me because if I see something and I have a reaction to it, emotional reaction to it, I'll try to capture it usually with a photograph and then bring it back to the studio where I further develop it. But probably I only paint maybe one in 500 images that I end up capturing. So then it becomes another selective process where I go through and, and often I will rearrange the photographs, I will change things, add things, take things out, change colors and values. So. John was born in Ogdensburg, New York, but as a child, moved to Schenectady and later Buffalo. After graduating from Buffalo State with an art education degree, he moved back to Ogdensburg in 1971 to take a position as an art teacher at Ogdensburg Free Academy, where he taught art until 2003. He and his wife Brenda have six children between them and 16 grandchildren. Together, John and Brenda own the Clark Art Gallery in downtown Ogdensburg, which exhibits John's work. The gallery also includes a frame shop. The gallery is located in the historical Clark House, which has been here in Ogdensburg and was built in 1802 to 1804. 
And when this became available, it seemed like the perfect ideal spot to have a gallery and a frame shop in the house. So that's more or less how it, how it started. You'll find original works of art. You'll find sheet clay prints, both on paper and on canvas. Um, we have everything from small 8x10 souvenir editions all the way up to um, original works. John's artistic talent has allowed him to enjoy a career that has spanned over 50 years, filled with honors, competitions, opportunities, and of course, hundreds of beautiful works of art. Growing up, I had a lot of uh, encouragement from the people around me, and I, I call it feeding the person, you know, just giving them encouragement, giving them art materials, um, helping them in any way you can, taking them to art shows when it's possible, art museums and that sort of thing. But let them, let them grow at their own natural speed.